Hi there, Adam Thompson from My Mortgage. Today talking about what the banks are looking for when you're doing a loan application. Um, there are three key things that they're looking for and we call them the three C's. So capacity, that's your servicing ability, collateral, that's your equity, and character. So that's your personal, the way you spend your money, etc. So let's talk about capacity for number one. So servicing ability is essentially your income. Um, the more income you have, the more debt you can service. That's pretty basic, but what people don't consider is that it's your net income. So if you're paying a bunch of other loans, you've got quite high outgoings, um, even though you're earning a lot of money, that can affect um, the amount you can borrow. And we see this quite regularly. Um, people have car loans or other, other debts or just other financial commitments, and they're going, well, why can't I buy more? Why, why can't I borrow more? Um, and the reason is often because if they remove some of those other expenses, you can afford to buy more. So that's the capacity part. Collateral, that's number two, is your equity. So that's your deposit. So um, whether you're buying a new home, you're using your KiwiSaver and your savings and whatnot, um, or whether you're selling an existing to buy another, it's about your equity and the amount of money that you're putting into that new property. Basically, the banks are taking that collateral, they're taking security over your property, so they want to limit their risk. Um, and in that, uh, they set LVR limits. Obviously, 80% is sort of the base level. Um, they do lend money up to 90, even up to 95% of the value of a property in, in good circumstances where people have great capacity and character. Um, but yeah, 80% is a general rule there um, and we can go above it. Now with rentals, it's obviously a little bit less. Um, and that basically means that the bank, uh, when they're taking a risk in lending to you, they know that if the worst came to worst and they had to sell your property, their interests are going to be protected. They're going to be able to get their money back. Um, so that's the collateral part of it. Now the third is character, um, and we all go, hey, we're awesome, they should definitely lend to us. Um, a big part of what we do is, um, is sort of working with people through presenting a really good loan application, and just the massive difference it does make, you know. Um, certain ways that you can structure your accounts, you can work with your spending, the goals you set, the things that we talk to you about um, that help basically move that forward and show you really good character with the banks. Um, things that include there that might be on the negative side, uh, like unarranged overdraft fees in your accounts, showing that you're not meeting your financial obligations, or if you've defaulted in the past on your credit check, those negatively affect your ability to borrow money. But at the same time, if they say you've been making regular savings, um, or you've had regular promotions at work, or you know things that show that you're gonna be a really good long-term customer, then character is in your favor on that front. So those are the big three C's with lending. Um, and unfortunately, if you miss one of them, um, it can be quite hard to borrow money. Um, but there are second tier lenders who go, hey, we don't care so much about your character if you've got bad credit check, check or whatever it is. Um, we can still lend you money if you've got good income and good equity. Um, or if you don't have good income, but you have the other two, um, there are options out there for you. But those are the three things that the banks are mainly looking at when they're lending you money. So if you'd like to chat and make it a plan how we can maximise each of those levels for you to get you the best deal at the bank, um, get in touch. Anyone from our team would love to have a chat to you. Cheers.